Guys, don't walk, run. <laughs> I'm back filming and back vlogging. It feels good, but it also feels weird <laughs> because it's been four weeks, like a month that I haven't really picked up the camera, but it's so nice to be back. And you'll see this a little bit later just because I have quite a few videos in my backlog. So um, today I'm going to Amsterdam and I have a meeting there. I also want to walk around a little bit because Amsterdam always gives so much energy and the weather is supposed to be kind of shitty today so it's not like the best day but still we'll make the best of it and afterwards maybe work in a cafe do some editing catch up on some things that I'm way behind on I catch also a nice workout after so it's going to be a wholesome day hopefully also eat something nice so let's go Good morning guys, I didn't really tell you how it went yesterday afterwards. I had a good meeting for lunch, afterwards I went to like a library just to sit down and work. I also had a call with a potential assistant that I'm looking to hiring. Not, It didn't like go through yet, so if any of you is interested in this position as well, just comment below or DM me on Instagram. I'm really looking into getting someone to help me out. With with like social media some admin stuff um preferably somewhere who, who lives here in the netherlands so that can help me also with shooting content and things like that it's just a part-time position just to start off and see how that goes but if you saw my q a that i did like the live session you know that i'm a full-time youtube creator now not necessarily by choice but you'll have to go and and check out that video but i'm so excited for this new season Season. so yesterday was actually like my first day of working for myself it was just like so crazy but also at the same time it's like a very a very exciting new season a lot of changes that are happening at the same time but um i'm someone who is i love structure and i love my routine but i can also adapt pretty quickly so i'm really looking forward to this and yeah other than that i went to a workout at saints and stars which was so good it was very hard because i haven't worked out in like a month so it was like i was catching my breath but it was like afterwards it feels so 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 good like my body aches right now but it's all good like i really felt very energized after and then i went um for dinner with my friend g catched up talked about like the uh, dogs and uh, she, he gave me like some tips on um potty training and things like that so it's just you like there is a lot coming my way in this period but it's all like good things and i'm like very energized and i feel excited and that's the 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 best thing like of course i allow myself also like there are bad days i allow myself still to feel the feels but at the same time i'm very excited for what's to come so today i just washed my hair i'm going to get like make myself a quick breakfast and i have to also blow dry my hair because i have the dyson now i think i'll blow dry my hair a little bit more frequently because i do want to get the hang of it and really try to use it but yeah that's the plan for today
All right, so the hair is all done. It took me a little bit less this time. Last time it took me three hours by myself. This time it took me two hours, but, I, but my mom helped me out a little bit. And I also got more the hang of it, of the Dyson. So it actually dries up the hair pretty quickly. The tedious part is the straightener because you have to, like I have to do it like piece by piece, like small pieces, otherwise the hair will frizz. Now the only thing that I want to master is like the roots. The roots are still a little bit puffy for my liking. So next time that's what I'm going to focus on a little bit more. And I also want to try to put the waves in the hair. So but yeah, so far so good. All right, you guys, it's the next day and my hair actually stayed pretty good, no frizz whatsoever. But every time like that I shower, of course, I wash my face. And even though I use like a shower cap, the edges get a little bit wet and then they'll get a little bit curly. So what I do to refresh like my edges is just use this attachment of the Dyson. This is like to get all the flyaways. And then what I do is like just put it against my edges um, to get like the, the curly parts away. So I already did that, but just here there is like a tiny piece that still needs a little bit of a touch up. So let me just get that. All right, so I love that because instead of going in like with the straightener and getting like really in on the edges that can cause, you know, potentially some heat damage. This way I still get it like super flat, but I think at least for my feeling, the Dyson is causing less heat damage than the hair straightener. So yeah, now the edges are nice and flat again. And I got a couple of things from Ikea the other day that I wanted to share with you. So I got these pillow covers. They are the Vala. They are just like a beautiful oatmeal color. I also got two of these rugs for the toilet, so the washroom area. I just love them because they have like this um, rubber um, underneath. It doesn't like really move. So I love that for in the toilets. Got some extra hangers for my pants. I really love these hangers for pants because you can like loop your pants over this part, but you can also like use the clips to clip it or hang it that way as well. So I just got just a couple because I have quite a few, but I was missing like five or so. An extra <laughs> cheese slicer and another uh, rug and just two plates. Like it's, it was like that day of us at the, at the Ikea that we actually went to um, just browse around and to get some food. But of course you have to leave with something. You can't leave empty handed, right? So that was my quick <laughs> Ikea run. All right, I just finished filming a live, like a YouTube live stream. It was my first time doing that and I actually, it actually went good. I was a little bit nervous in the beginning, but um, it was good, it was good. It was nice to catch up with you guys to give you like a live update because things like that, I didn't really want a video. I think it's nicer to have their interaction with the chat. So whenever like I have a live update like that again, hopefully not this heavy anytime soon, but I think I'll do like a live session again because I really like that format. But for now, I wanted to unbox this package with you. I got a couple of pieces sent to me from Arrestidus. It's a brand that I, I don't really work with them. It's just like a PR uh, thing that we do, that they sent me a couple of pieces. They sent me some stuff for summer and now they asked me again for fall if I wanted to like, you know, pick some pieces. And this one I already unboxed or unpackaged and it's a beautiful, like beautiful material, beautiful black beady dress, long sleeves, and it has like a frill kind of, you know, neckline. Let's see. I'll try everything on so you can see it. Ooh, I like. These are like some flared leg leggings or pants. Like they are 
stretchy and a nice stretch it's not like what i love about the rest of this from the piece the previous pieces that i got their materials are so well made it's like super thick kind of knit material or like elastic material like this it's just so nicely made good quality so i can't wait to try this on and see how it fits oh yeah this is a maxi oh this is very long but we'll see this is a maxi skirt that i got since maxi skirts are all the uh, the thing right now with summer as well denim maxi skirts and all of that i didn't want to really do denim but i did want to try the trend and try this material because i think this is a very beautiful material for fall fall and winter with some not nice high you know knee-high boots i think it's going to be lovely and these are all black pieces until now <laughs> Because you know the vibes over here. Ah, and then this is a chunky sweater. This is like fall in a sweater right here. It's like a gray, beigey, you know, you can see in the, the color. It's a combination of beige and gray. It's nice. Crew neck, just large sleeves, all the things. So let me try things on. All right, this is this is cute. This is a very soft material. It's like super cozy. I think they should make a house dress in this material. It is just a very nice, comfortable material to just lounge around in, I would say. It's on the thinner side, so definitely a good one for when it's fall, but it's not quite hot yet. It really depends on where you live. You can wear this like this as a dress on its own you can wear it with boots i got these boots from massimo duty not very keen on them but i'll show you i'll show you so you can see the vision but you can wear this with um like knee-high boots like this um or you can wear tights and then combat boots and like a very nice big long extra wool coat over it for some drama you can see the vision looks like that and i stitched it in with the belt because i think that it really needs that for my body shape otherwise it just won't fit right but yeah let me just put my trench coat over this so you can see the whole vision but yeah something like this i love it just imagine like a whole all black outfit like i need a black trench coat obviously but for now this will do and i love that it has like the holes for your tongues just to for extra warmth and extra fashion like a fashion forward kind of design as well i just love that it's super easy throw on your crossbody handbag or your work bag that's it very cute i like this definitely something that you can serve as a workwear but also if you want to wear it more casually you can do that as well guys don't walk run <laughs> this, like honestly what is this come on the fit of uh, these pants it's unreal like how can a swedish brand make clothes like this for that fits curvy bodies this perfectly this is just unheard of it's so good the length is a little bit long for me of course which is like understandably okay but look at this fit look at this no gap like even with materials that have stretch elastin all of that sometimes they still leave a gap around my waist this has no gap whatsoever the material is super thick you don't see any cellulite or anything it has like this beautiful detail in the back which makes it a little bit more dressy like they thought of every single little detail it's nice and high-waisted but not too high so i can wear it with like a bodysuit for a whole more like a catsuit kind of moment but i can also wear it with you know a chunky sweater like this and some heels and it's already like dressed up these are going to be my pants for the season they are so comfortable 
this looks so chic so elegant all the things so it has like the seam in the middle you know you can see here these are like the details that make a piece of clothing look so much elevated more expensive like all the things very very nice and then the chunky sweater i mean look at the little branding detail that it has right here um i do have to say around the neck area it is a little bit itchy but my like my arms are not itchy at all um and there are some pieces like it sheds a little bit just you know letting you know but the fit of this as well is very nice like the length it's a nice length to like do a little bit of a tuck like this i love the crew neck that it has sleeves are super nice and nice and you know exaggerated and long but you can still pull them up this is so good this brand honestly i need a sponsorship with you guys because this is insane i really really love like pretty much all the pieces so let's let's make this happen like i love what they stand for with regards to sustainability the materials that they use the transparency that the brand has like i'll link of course all the pieces below with the sizing and all of that but we still have one let's try on the maxi skirt another one right this is so beautiful this maxi skirt and it's the same material of the um, the flared pants but then in this maxi skirt and of course it is too long for me so i wear now with my heels but you can imagine for this maxi skirt you know wearing it with boots as well knee-high boots or just combat boots and i love the juxtaposition of a white tee with the dramatization of the maxi skirt the length all of it this is super super nice and of course i'll be styling all of these pieces in my more styling videos so you can see multiple ways that you can wear each piece this is so so cute with the, the slit in the back all the little things it has like belt loops so you can wear it belt has pockets um this one also has the detail in the back to make it a little bit more dressed up and looks like tailoring very 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 nice i think my favorite piece is definitely the flared pants you could have known that by my reaction just because i think that i'll get the most amount of wear out of that pants is like really my thing skirts i'm dabbling into them a little bit more they are somewhat out of my comfort zone so i really want to learn how to style them multiple ways as well um but yeah those those pants will get a lot of love for sure and also the sweater of course so yeah i really hope that you saw some pieces that you like and if you haven't tried rest of this yet or looked into it i'll leave everything linked below really really truly a beautiful brand that i believe in so i hopefully <laughs> we can figure something out and and do like a long-term partnership because these their pieces are so so beautiful and good quality good morning guys today i'm in the city center of the hague i just had a meeting now i'm going to grab lunch with my mom and then afterwards have some errands to run in the city center i have a package to pick up from uniqlo and i also have to go get my nails done so let's go it's such a beautiful day today. The sun is shining. The temperature is not too, you know, too extreme. <laughs> so it's a nice day to just walk around in the city a little bit.
Good morning, guys. Yesterday was a little bit tricky. I meant to like show you a little bit more of what I was doing. I told you that I was going to grab lunch with my mom and stuff like that. But honestly, the meeting that I had in the morning threw me off a little bit. You know, sometimes you try to go into a meeting, not every single meeting, but some meetings you try to go in with um, low expectations or even zero expectations, but still like deep down, you are of course hoping for the best outcome and the meeting that i had wasn't really wasn't bad but i wasn't really feeling it either so that like threw my whole day off and what i like come to discover like now in my grieving process things like that can really affect me a little bit longer than it used to so previously i could deal with setbacks a little bit um, better than now now it takes a little bit more time but even then it only takes like a day like i would say 24 hours and then i'm back you know back on it full of energy to go tackle the day again so that's today and also the other thing i have like this thing that i'm trying to break free from which is like emotional eating i get this whenever i am either super happy so i want to celebrate something i associate that with food i want to celebrate with food right like let's go out for a nice dinner and or when i'm like really sad that i want to like reward myself with some comfort food because i'm like you know at least i can have that and there is like comfort in that, but the moment that it becomes for me a little bit more too time, like it's consuming my head and my thoughts too much. Then when I'm like, okay, this is not like super healthy, you know, when you're thinking too much about when you're associating like an event with food right away. So even yesterday, like after the meeting, I was planning on, you know, going um, to take some content and I was just not feeling it. So, and I had some time in between, like after the meeting and, and then catching up with my mom. So that was like the time that I was supposed to go shoot some content. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to decompress, take my time, and then I just go have lunch with my mom, have some nice food. <laughs> And then hopefully I'll feel better. And the disappointing thing was that I ordered, uh, it's called a, like a shrimp salad. But then the shrimp came, um, you know how you get the shrimp in ceviche? So it's not cooked, but it's like with all the lemon juices and things like that. It, it's not raw either, but it's kind of raw. And I wasn't really, um, I didn't want that. I was expecting like garlic baked shrimp or grilled shrimp or whatever and it didn't say specifically on the menu what kind of shrimp it is so then i had to like send the salad back you know <laughs> talk to the manager no <laughs> but it was like that was disappointing and then i decided to get like shrimp croquettes which is like definitely not something that i wanted to get because i'm like kind of on a healthy journey right now i'm really trying to be still enjoy life but also like take care of myself um, because i do think that that really also helps me with the way that i feel about myself more confident and things like that so i wasn't really planning on doing fried food but it is what it is and afterwards we just walked in the city center a little bit the weather was actually very very nice but i had to get some packages from uniqlo and they were heavy so we decided to just leave and go get some ice cream i didn't get any ice cream because again i'm trying to like break the cycle of you know rewarding myself with food um and i felt like actually good afterwards that i that i did that so this morning also like with regards to my health journey i have been doing intermittent uh fastening for a long time but like on and off and with on and off i mean like during the week i'll do it during the weekend i won't and usually during like four vacations i won't do it either but i have been doing it for i would say like seven seven to eight years now and i really love it because it really gives me peace of mind like in the morning i don't have to really think about what am i going to eat like it really becomes a lifestyle and that's like the best kind of habits it's not really for um health re it is for health reasons but it's not really to um um 
to lose weight or anything like that is just for like a more healthy lifestyle in my opinion so now i started back a little bit more on the grind so to this morning i'm only having like my black coffee and i also have been starting to do a tablespoon of um, apple cider vinegar i feel like it really helps me with my digestion because sometimes i can be a little bit constipated so that's like a little update on the health journey i also got these air tags in i've been wanting to get air tags i got the four pack just because you know if you have like you're traveling with two suitcases i'm planning on using one for frida and then have a spare one and because i'm traveling to the u.s with like a trend with like a layover flight and stuff like that and it can be iffy with luggages and stuff so it's like you know this is the time for me to get an air tag usually like when you travel just direct flights i've never had you know knock on wood but i've never had a uh, issues with my luggage hopefully that won't happen this time either but just in case i have like the air tags and i ordered like some um some beautiful like wait until you see them i ordered some uh, beautiful outfits or and dresses well a dress and two like uh, outfits like a skirt and a top and the other one is like a trouser and a top for this event that um, we are having in Dallas like a red carpet event and normally I don't really get stuff for special occasions like that but you guys know my style is like very very casual so I don't have anything like red carpet ready um, or like it's called like so like sophisticated cocktail something like that so I didn't have anything so I'm going to show you, I'm going to finish my makeup and my hair and I'll show you the uh, the three outfits that I'm thinking about. And yeah, there won't be time for you to help me pick, but one of them you'll have to see the Dallas vlog in order to see which one I picked. <laughs> So this is the first outfit that I was thinking, but I'm not sure. I saw this skirt on the Reformation website and I saw it styled this way, like with a great turtleneck and, you know, the skirt. And I have been looking for, you know, a maxi sat uh, satin or silk skirt. So I was like, if I get this, it's going to be beautiful on the red carpet because it's like very elegant. And at the same time, I can keep wearing it afterwards as well but i'm not super sure about this obviously this skirt is a little bit big on me so i'll have to get it tailored i think both the length even like i'm wearing heels right now and it's still like way too long so i'll have to get it tailored around for the length but also around the waist it is very loose for me or i'll have to size down but um let me check what size this one is. This is a, this is a size small. I'm not sure if they have extra small, but this one is definitely on the big side for me. But I do like the material of this. Um, this is like a 100% silk skirt. Beautifully made. Like it's so, so, so soft and looks like liquidy. And silver is like all the rave right now. Like with the Renaissance tour of Beyonce and everything. Silver, silver is trending. So this is like right on trend but it's also like something that definitely can be worn like it's timeless at the same time so this is option number one <laughs> guys this dress i don't know what a kind of um thing reformation does but they make the most beautiful dresses for my body type like honestly i have never tried on a dress from reformation that doesn't fit me to the perfection so i can 100 percent recommend that brand and even like besides dresses they do everything like very brilliantly case in point right i mean look at this dress look at the back the color like honestly everything about this dress is just spot on I love the back detail for sure it's like the thing that makes this dress like 10 times better the length is perfect for me with heels obviously if I'm going to a red carpet event I'm doing heels um, I just love that in the front it's like nice and covered it also like comes in uh, here around the waist just to you know accentuate that to give that hourglass you know look and feel and I mean 
this is so good like it's so 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 beautiful the only thing that i'm debating is a dress like this is only for special occasions like I'm not going to wear something like this on a day-to-day -day basis unless I like throw on a chunky sweater over it and just use the skirt like the skirt part and use it that way but even then the length for me is not everyday like I'll have to wear this with if I wear it with like with boots it has to be boots with heels so that's the only thing that I'm not so sure about and the second and the third option that i have is going to be something that at least the pants i can keep wearing them on a day-to-day -day basis so i'll show you that option then you you'll get what i'm saying but this dress is really growing on me for sure even though it's a special thing it is just exactly right for the occasion all right i can't really figure out the zipper in the back right now so i'm just going to hold this top but this is the third outfit which i also think is a banger like i think the first one is falling off but these two it's like between these two the dress the olive green gold dress and this outfit this is like a mango outfit this top is from the capsule collection um they are doing this right now i don't know that they bring out some very premium high quality pieces and this is like one of those pieces and the pants are just regular from their regular collection i got the pants altered um around the waist just for them to fit me like perfectly and the thing that i was saying is that these pants are you know pants that i can keep wearing for sure like i was actually looking for a pair of white leg pants like off-white kind of pants so this is like spot on the fit is like so beautiful and um, I will keep using them for sure this top is more of a for a sh like of course a special occasion kind of top so not an everyday kind of top but the whole like the outfits like the two pieces together I think look like they are meant to be together they look so 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 nice it's not like super red carpety i mean it is but it's like a little bit more on the casual side if you compare like compare it to like a maxi dress and all of that but i still think it's appropriate for the event so it's going to be a tough one because i do think that this is super cute it has like some fashion elements to it something that i haven't done before i'm wearing pants which is something that i love doing so we'll see but please catch my Dallas vlog to, to find out which one I chose because I can't figure it out right now wait I forgot to show you this outfit which was also a contender but not anymore but I still want to show it to you this blazer and these pants these are this is a set from H&M the blazer fits so beautifully like honestly this is a blazer that you can wear for more than uh, just an occasion like this so that's what I loved about like this suit you know set combination unfortunately the pants don't fit me but the pants are like very very nice like um flared with like a slit right here and unfortunately i don't have enough time to like um order a bigger size and i, I think even if i get a bigger size i'll still have to get it tailored there's just not enough time to do all of that so it's not going to work out but i still wanted to show you the blazer with the, these pants on but they are not working with these pants like if i do a suit set it has to be like a set that's meant to be together and not like a different textures and combinations like for every day i can do that but just for an occasion like this i want to do like a full power suit moment that's like of the same family when it comes to materials other than that this suit is so 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 nice like it reminds me of the bar jacket i think it's from dior it has or the hourglass jacket from what brand is that is it balenciaga i'm not don't quote me on that but there is like a designer brand that does various designer brands that does like this cut like a very thick material and then a very nice cut around the waist to give it that hourglass effect that really reminds me of like re this really looks like a designer blazer that's what i'm trying to say 
and i also love that it's not like stark white it's like a beautiful off-white creamish kind of color and yeah the fit is like very very nice on me but yeah just like i said this is not going to work out for that specific event but if you're looking for a nice blazer that fits beautifully around the waist that gives you like that nice put together um look this is definitely a contender or something that you can look at guys i just got this package in these are some boots from massimo tutti and i have been on the lookout for some knee-high boots and i just unpacked them and i thought let me try them on with you guys together because these are like a hit and a miss let's see which ones are because usually knee-high boots are way too thick or my my calves are way too thick for knee-high boots but i desperately want one these are like the same <gasps> i desperately want one that fits right and these have been trending on tiktok instagram all the things so I wanted to try them out, but as you can see, there is just not enough room around my calves for it. It's too, you know, tight fitting to the legs. I want mine to have like some wiggle room right here so that, you know, I can wear them with mini skirts, but also with midi skirts like this. And that you can see like that there is some room. Like this is like my feet, my <laughs> calves are way too big and i don't know too chunky for these boots unfortunately so i mean the pointy toe is nice the material is nice and it's very comfortable because the heel is not too high but this is just not it hmm. too bad too bad but if you have skinny legs <laughs> Maybe you'll, you'll find this one cute because I do think that, that the design is nice. So if you have uh, skinnier legs than me, then maybe you should try these ones out because the fit is very nice and they are very comfortable and they look very well made as well. Alright you guys, this is the progress. I'm going to finish packing up for tomorrow and I'm going to close off this vlog and then start the vlog for the Dallas vlog. So the fun is about to begin. I'm super super excited and so grateful that I was uh, invited on this trip. So I'll bring you all the footage, all the outfits, everything, everything I ate and did because I'm going like three days before the actual conference. So I'll have like some time to just watch walk around and get to know Dallas a little bit better as well. So join me there and I'll see you later. Bye.